I'm about to do your Pisces January 2021 love reading. And in this reading, we're going to take a look at how your romantic person of interest really feels about you. Pisces, how is it going? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Pisces love reading video. If this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of the Pisces love readings I post for you every week. Now let's get on with this Pisces reading for today because today we're going to take a look at how your romantic person of interest really feels about you here at the end of January 2021. What they're thinking about you, what their beliefs are about you, then we're going to take a look at what their intentions are toward you here at the end of January 2021, as well as what their most likely actions are going to be toward you moving forward from the end of January 2021. And then we're going to finish the reading off by getting you some advice on how you should best navigate the situation with this person. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading, which means that I'm not tapping into your specific energy as an individual person. I'm tapping into the collective energy of the Pisces people that I'm supposed to be getting messages for. So you just got to take this as it resonates. Now, regardless of how this reading resonates for you, you still probably want to check your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign videos, just because they can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation, and you can find the links to those videos in the description box down below. Now, enough yakking, let's get on with this Pisces reading, and let's start by getting three cards for how your romantic person of interest really feels about you here at the end of January 2021, please. Okay, well, we got that. Come here. <clears throat> okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Now, this is a card of detachment. It's emotional detachment, physical detachment. It could be physically walking away from a situation or physically walking away from you. The person in this card is walking away from eight full cups of love. Now, most people could live their whole life on eight full cups of love, but this person wouldn't be emotionally happy. They wouldn't be emotionally fulfilled if they did that. So they're walking away from these eight full cups because they believe there's something more out there for them, and they're going off down a new path to go find their ninth and their tenth cup. They're going off on a new path looking for their own emotional happiness and their own fulfillment. Now, in their feelings for you, Pisces, we have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Now, this Eight of Cups is Pisces energy here. This Nine of Swords is Gemini energy. This is fears, worries, anxieties, thinking about something over and over and over again to the point that it's got your person stressed out. It's thinking about it so much that it's to their detriment at this point. This is, this is mental anguish. This is like a situation that they have so much fear and worry about that they don't really want to face it. You can see how they got their face buried in their hands there. They only want to look at it through the cracks in their fingers. So your person's feeling all worried and stressed out about something, potentially about either feeling like you are detaching from them and walking away, or they're feeling like detaching from you and walking away. Either way, they're worried and stressed about it. Then we have the Two of Pentacles in their feelings. This is Capricorn energy. This is an energy of balance, but it's more like trying to maintain balance or trying to regain balance when you're off balance. This is like a one foot in, one foot out kind of an energy. It's like trying to make some decision. Twos are about decisions. So this is like weighing the pros and cons of something, putting something on a scale, trying to like weigh it out and see how, how does it balance out. Trying to like make some sort of a decision like do I or don't I or should I or shouldn't I. They could be weighing the decision about whether or not to walk away from you. This could also mean, it's a general reading, that you... They feel like you are detaching from them. They have some fears and worries and anxiety about that. And they're trying to regain their balance over all of that. It's feeling more like they're thinking about walking away from you, honestly, though. King of Swords, also Gemini energy. This is a decision maker. This is someone who's very smart, 
very analytical, very logical, also someone who's usually very fair, but they're a decision maker and they're emotionally detached. We've already seen a card of emotional detachment here. Well, hey buddy, what's going on? Yeah. My son Dylan, say hi. Hi. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Oh, okay, well I'll be done here in just a few minutes, all right? Now, this is someone who is emotionally detached. They don't make their decisions based on their emotions. They're only interested in the truth and the facts of the matter. They don't care about the emotions behind what's going on or the story behind what's going on. They're just interested in the truth and the facts, and they're going to use the truth and the facts to make the best, most logical, most rational, most fair decision available for everyone involved here. So your person is feeling emotionally detached, at the same time, they're also worried. And they're like juggling back and forth about something. Weighing the pros and cons, trying to make some sort of a decision. Now let's take a look at what they're thinking about you. What are this person's thoughts about Pisces here at the end of January 2021, please? What are they thinking about Pisces? Let's get one more for this person's thoughts about Pisces. Okay. the bottom of the deck we have the lovers now this is a very strong love connection here this is i breathe you in you breathe me in we're soulmates we're twin flames whatever label you want to put on that this is a very deep very powerful love connection this is like divine counterparts divine feminine divine masculine two people who probably are supposed to be together here at least that's how your person's thinking of it. They have a lot of love for you. Right under that, though, we have the moon. This is kind of Pisces energy right here. This is fears, worries, anxieties. This can also represent things being hidden in the dark. Something that your person doesn't know about. Something that you don't know about. Something hidden in the dark. Could be some sort of a secret here. I think what you don't know about is your person is at a crossroads. This is the two of wands. Twos, again, are about decisions. This is a, a fork in the road, a decision point. And it's a decision about which path leads them to the world that they want and which path do they need to leave behind. <clears throat> Very next card down is the four of swords. This is about taking a pause, taking a break, taking a rest. It's about going internal to do some healing, to do some thinking about something, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. Now, also in your person's thoughts about you, Pisces, we have the Five of Wands, the Hermit, and the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this Five of Wands, this is Leo energy. This... This is Gemini energy as well here. So we've got Gemini out here three times. You could be dealing with the Gemini... I've seen Pisces energy twice now. You could be dealing with another Pisces. We've got Aries here. And we've got we've got Leo here in this Five of Wands. This Fives are conflict. Wands are about passion and desire. So this is a conflict in their desires. This is an internal conflict of some sort. Where they're like pulling themselves in multiple different directions kind of having a struggle within about what it is they actually want. So your person is, e either either they are internally conflicted, I would, I would assume it's them, we've got them thinking about something so much they're stressing themselves out, they're trying to weigh the pros and cons to something, trying to make some sort of a decision without letting their emotions get involved in it. But we've got them feeling a lot of fears, worries, and anxieties here. Also got them thinking that you're the one for them, that you're, you're this divine connection. They have a divine connection with you. So they're internally conflicted about that. Next in their thinking, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. This is withdrawal. This is isolation. This is about being forced to go internal, to do some soul searching to do some deep inner reflection some deep contemplation trying to figure out what to do moving forward so i've seen a couple of cards here about trying to figure out what to do moving forward 
We've got this Two of Pentacles here, trying to weigh the pros and cons to something, trying to make some sort of a decision here. Also, in their thinking about you, Pisces, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is the singles card. This is with you, without you, in spite of you. I'm single, I'm abundant, I'm prosperous in my own right. I don't need anyone to take care of me. I'm totally self-sufficient. I can do this on my own. This is someone who usually has their physical 3D reality in order. They have like their finances in order. They're a stable person. So they're thinking like, I don't, I don't actually need you here. Yet they're internally conflicted about it, and they're doing some soul searching on that. What are their beliefs? What are this person's beliefs about Pisces here at the end of January 2021, please? Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. So this is fire sign energy. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the second fastest moving night in the deck. It's about rushing forward, taking rapid, decisive action on something. Or actually, rushing forward, taking rapid, passionate action towards something. This is sometimes referred to as the player of the tarot deck. This is an energy of someone who rushes in all passionately, gets what they want. They rush out, go somewhere else all passionately, get what they want. This is like a flighty, wishy-washy, in-and-out kind of an energy here. Under that we have Seven of Cups. Confusion about options and choices. I've seen your person weighing the options here, trying to make some sort of a decision, being internally conflicted about that. There's a lot of cups here. A lot of different stuff in these cups. There's a lot of emotions involved for your person. Even though they're trying really hard to keep their feelings out of it, they're still having some feelings. And they're confused about what to do. They don't want to make a mistake. But then we have the Page of Wands. This is either news and messages of passion and desire. This can also be an energy of taking the first steps down a new path towards something they have a lot of passion and desire for. We've got that Knight of Wands here, taking rapid, passionate action on something. More Leo energy under that with the Strength card. This tells me that there was a difficult situation, or this is a difficult situation. This is about... Tapping into their internal strength, needing to tap into their internal strength to make it through it. It also tells me they do have the internal strength to make it through this. This can also be about trying to summon the courage to face their fears, or even trying to tame the beast within, like trying to rein themselves in, trying to hold themselves back, not make any decisions too quickly, not do anything hasty or harsh not let their emotions get the best of them, trying to rein themselves in here. Right under that we have the Queen of Wands, which is Leo energy. Again, this is, this is someone who's very bold, passionate, fiery, determined, intuitive. Queen of Wands knows what she wants and she goes after it. She doesn't really take no for an answer here. So in their beliefs about you, we have the star. We have the Knight of Cups, and we have Death. Hmm. Well, the Star, we got two major Arcana cards here. The Star is a card of healing. It's a card of hope. It's also sometimes a card of wish fulfillment. So this could be that your person is believing that your wish fulfillment for them. I'm not really seeing that, though. I'm feeling more like your person's believing that they're doing some healing here. Now, this is also card 17, of the major arcana card 16 the card right before this is the tower so you don't ever get to the star without going through a tower moment first where everything comes crashing down all around you and shit goes left of center real quick the star is like the guiding light from the universe that shows up after the tower to kind of light the way for you to light your path it's actually what's inside the hermit's lantern here is the star so your person's forced to go internal to do some soul searching. So this is telling me there was a difficult situation. Something abruptly changed here in the very recent past with your person. And now they're having either some hope about this situation or they're trying to heal from this situation. Now this, we saw the lover's card there in their, their thoughts about you. Sometimes in a love reading, this represents that your person believes that you're a gift to them from the universe, or they believe that you're the one for them. 
I'm feeling more like something has changed dramatically, and this is them trying to get past that somehow. The next card we have is the Knight of Cups. Now, again, knights are action takers. Cups are about love and emotions. So this is actions toward love and emotions. This is your person believing either that they need to take some actions toward love and emotions with you. We've got two knights here, love and passion, but then all this confusion. This usually represents romantic actions or love offers being made or received by your person here. And I would, I would go with that, except for how these two cards are laid on the table. Look how similar those are. It's a, it's a guy wearing armor, riding a white horse, going that way. And then we have a guy in armor, riding a white horse, going that way, only he's death. So, this is, the death card is Scorpio energy. This is some sort of a, a massive transformation that's taking place. Something dying so that it can be reborn again in a new, better way. This is some, some transformation process taking place. And I'm feeling like it's taking place in terms of these actions of love and emotions here. Your person's trying to heal, trying to be able to move forward. They've got a lot of confusion. It looks like they're starting down a new path or having the desire to do that trying to rein themselves in, but we have some sort of a transformation taking place in this love here. That's their feelings, their thoughts, and their beliefs. Now, what are their intentions toward you, Pisces? What are this person's intentions toward Pisces here at the end of January 2021, please? What are this person's intentions toward Pisces at the end of January? Well, this is highly inconvenient. I'm glad I didn't clean the cards up and collect them right away because I went to go look at the camera and it turns out that the camera abruptly stopped. I film all of this from my uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra phone and there's some sort of an update that it's trying to get me to do right now. So it popped up asking to do the update and somehow that abruptly stopped the camera. So I'm going to have to re-record the very end of this for you. I'm not going to be able to show you the cards jumping out because I already have them all out here on the table now because I had no idea the camera stopped recording. So, you're going to miss tiny little bits of what was on the bottom of the deck right here <clears throat> for their intentions. I'm trying to remember what it was and I'm not 100% sure. So, we're just going to skip that one card and I'm going to show you what is in their intentions toward you here at the end of January 2021. Your person's intentions toward you are the Ten of Swords, the Two of Swords, and Justice. Now, this Ten of Swords is an ending to something. This is a swift ending. Sometimes it's a painful ending. Sometimes it's an ending you don't see coming, hence the swords in this person's back. Sometimes it's even an ending in betrayal, hence the swords in this person's back. Either way, this is some sort of an ending here in their intentions. Now the next card in their intentions is the Two of Swords. This is a decision needing to be made. I remember what was on the bottom of the deck now. It just came to me. It was the moon. More Pisces energy. The moon is right here in this card. That's why I remembered it. Fears, worries, anxieties, something being hidden in the dark. Like something either they don't know about, something you don't know about, something is hidden in the dark and there's fears, worries, and anxieties about it. This is them needing to make a decision, only that decision's not being made, either because they don't have enough information to make the decision, or there's something they can't see, hence the blindfold, hence the moon, something hidden in the dark, or there's something that they do see, they just don't want to see it, they don't want to look at it, almost like they're in denial about something, and that's preventing them from making a decision. Honestly, what I feel like is going on is there's this transformation that's taking place here, which we just saw with these two cards. This is something coming to an end. Your person is trying to make a decision about whether or not to end this with you. Whether they're bringing this to an end or whether they're going to go this direction instead, this Libra energy of justice. This is a card of balance. It's about doing the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing. The sword in this card is used to sever things that aren't in balance 
so balance can be restored and the right, fair, just thing can happen. We've seen right from the beginning of the reading this being in fears, worries, and anxieties, which is what the moon card also represents, being out of balance, trying to maintain balance, trying to regain balance, trying to make some sort of a decision where they're not letting their emotions get involved. They're just looking at the truth and the facts and the logic of it all, and they're internally conflicted about that, and they've been doing some soul-searching on that, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. Some sort of a transformation has happened, and your person is trying to make a decision between, do I end this with you, Pisces, or do we balance this back out? Do we do the right thing and balance this back out? Now, normally you'd watch me shuffle, but because the camera stopped and I didn't know it, I've already got these cards out here. So in their most likely actions toward you, like they're intending to make that decision. They're intending to decide, do I end it? Do we balance this back out? What they intend to do, what they actually end up doing, might be completely different things. So in their intentions, or their most likely actions, excuse me, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Now, this is the second fastest night in the deck. This is about rushing forward, taking rapid, passionate action towards something they have a lot of passion and desire for. But right under that, we have the Seven of Cups, which is options and choices. But it's confusion about those options and choices. There's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of different stuff in these cups. There's a lot of emotions involved here. Even though they're trying to be emotionally detached about it, there's still a lot of emotions involved here, and your person doesn't want to make a mistake, and they also aren't sure what to do right now. So, they're trying to make some sort of a decision. We've seen that with this off-balance, do I or don't I, am I in, am I out, this weighing the pros and cons. We've got this internal conflict going on. We've got them being in a, an intention of making a decision that they haven't been able to make. Now, in their most likely actions toward you, moving forward from the end of January 2021, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Ten of Cups. This Queen of Swords, this is she who knows the truth. This is Libra energy. This Justice card is Libra energy. This Two of Swords is Libra energy. This Ten of Swords is Gemini energy. So we've seen Gemini a couple of times here. We've seen the Lover's card. That's Gemini energy. Now we've got three Libra cards in a row. You could very well be dealing with an Earth sign. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Fire sign. I've seen quite a few cards pop up for Leo. This was Leo. This could represent Leo. Now we've got a Seven of Wands here, which is Leo energy. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is, this is about speaking the truth about something or cutting off the things and the people that don't serve you anymore, or your person anyway. But then the Seven of Wands is about being walled off and defensive, but it can be more than that. It can be defending against other people, like these other wands represent other people, their actions, their words, their thoughts, their opinions about something, and your person defending themselves against that. This could be them defending themselves against accusations of some kind, although I don't see any accusations being made here. This can also represent, because wands are about passion and desire, your person being willing to fight for what it is they desire. So we've got them like trying to make a decision about do I end it or do I balance it out, and it looks like they're speaking the truth about something. They're taking rapid, passionate action even though they're confused. They're speaking the truth about something, and it looks like they're willing, they're most likely to fight for what it is that they desire, what they want. And what they want seems to be this Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy. This is the happy fairy tale ending card. This is about two people who in and of themselves, by themselves, are emotionally happy, emotionally content, full of their own self-love. They're totally okay with themselves. They enjoy their own company. But this is two people in that state that come together in the union to make a happy family where everyone is emotionally happy, everyone's emotionally content and stable, everyone feels love. So this is like, this is a very good energy. It's like your person is speaking the truth about something now, coming in quickly doing it, 
defending their position on whatever they're speaking the truth about, fighting for what it is that they desire, which is this Ten of Cups with you. Now, I did shuffle the cards again and got you some advice for how you should navigate the situation with this person moving forward. What should you do? What should you not do? How should you kind of play this, Pisces, so that it works out in a way that's best for you? Now, I got five cards out for you here, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the very last card out for your person is the Ten of Cups. That's most people's wish when it comes to, you know, love and emotions. This is most people's goal in that area of life. This is most people's goal in the area of life about like the physical 3D reality, the finances, the stability of your home life, and, you know, everything that you have in the material world. This is usually two people or two families coming together, combining together their assets, their resources, making something very stable, very abundant, very prosperous. This is like building a legacy. This is maximum stability, maximum abundance. It's like the happy home life, the happy family life. And you've got both of these energies out here on the table. So this is like most people's goal in life. If, if most people could get the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, it would, it would be a great place to live. <laughs> Right under that, we have the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. This is a card of commitment. It's about taking things to the next level. So, in terms of your stability, part of your advice here is to focus on this Ten of Pentacles, the commitment here, taking things to the next level. It looks like you have some fears, worries, and anxieties. This was the first card out in your person's energy. Thinking about something so much having so much fear, worry, and anxiety about it that it's stressing you out. And we have death, which is, again, also out here in your person's energy, Scorpio energy. This is about transforming something. It's about putting something to death so that it can be reborn again in a new, more beautiful way. So I'm thinking you're stuck in your head about something, you're thinking about something a lot, fears, worries, anxieties about it, stressing yourself out, and it's time for you to transform that. It's time for you to put that to an end and move more into this Page of Cups energy. This is about news and messages of love and emotions. This can represent apologies. This can represent the expressing of love and emotions, expressing your feelings toward your person. We do, right in the smack dab center of this spread here, we have the Knight of Cups. The more advanced version of this. This is actions toward love and emotions in your person's beliefs. Well, for you, this is like expressing your emotions, telling them how you feel. King of Wands, more Leo or Sagittarius energy. This is someone who is a bold, passionate, fiery, determined person who knows exactly what they want, and they go after what they want with bold, passionate, fiery determination. They see things through until the end. They don't give up. They don't take no for an answer. They don't let obstacles and roadblocks get in their way. Now, this is, this is either telling me this is how you view your person, or this is telling me that you need to pay very close attention to what it is that you actually want and work toward that. Now, for your actual advice, Pisces, we got the Queen of Swords. We got the Nine of Wands. The Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Now, this Queen of Swords is Libra energy. It's also out here in your person's most likely actions toward you moving forward from the end of January 2021. This is she who knows the truth. It's about speaking your truth. It's also about cutting off the things and the people that no longer serve you. So I feel like some truth is about to be spoken between the two of you guys. I feel like you guys are going to lay it all out on the table and talk about something. Now, in your person's most likely actions, they had the Queen of Swords and then the Seven of Wands. You have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Both of these cards are about being walled off and defensive. So we've got speaking the truth being walled off and defensive, your person being willing to fight for what it is they want, this is about you being walled off and defensive, probably because you've been hurt. This is the wounded warrior. He's built this wall around himself as a way to protect himself because he's been hurt. 
He's trying to heal and he's got to stop from being hurt so he can heal. So he can get his energy right to take the next step in his journey. To move forward on his journey. So, this, this is feeling like you guys are both semi-walled off and defensive against each other right now for some reason. But it's looking like those walls are about to come down. Because the very next card in your advice is the Ace of Swords. This is the Sword of Victory. It's the Sword of Truth. It's the Sword of Clarity. Now this can also be the sword you would use to sever a relationship, to sever something that's out of balance. This is the sword that's in this Justice card out here in your person's energy. It's the sword that's in this King of Swords where your person's trying to make some fair, logical decision. It's also the sword that's in this Queen of Swords that happens to be in both of your energies here. So this can definitely be something that you would use to sever things that aren't in balance, to sever a connection or a relationship with someone. This could also represent clarity. It, now this could be about making a decision too. We see your person here in this Two of Swords energy. The root word for decide or decision, like the Latin word that those words come from, literally means to cut off, as in to cut off all other options. Well, there's two options here. To make a real decision, you have to cut one of those options off. Now, we also see the next card in your advice is this Seven of Cups, which is also right here on the bottom of the deck for your person, right under this nine or Knight of Wands that they have here. Options and choices. But confusion about those options and choices. A lot of emotions are involved here. Neither one of you want to make a mistake. Neither one of you are certain about what to do right now. So this could be saying you're going to get some clarity when you guys speak the truth to each other. When your walls come down and you actually start speaking the truth to each other. There's going to be some clarity here about this confusion. This could be saying that you're going to cut off or that you need to cut off a lot of these options and leave yourself only one option left so that you can make an actual decision here. And it looks like that's what's happening because the final card in your advice is the Six of Swords. This is Aquarius energy. This is, let's see, uh, this is Scorpio energy. This, this is Sagittarius energy. Now, this is Aquarius energy. It's about moving forward into calmer waters. It's about leaving these rough, choppy waters of the past behind. There's definitely been some rough, choppy waters. We've got your person in fears, worries, anxieties, afraid to face the situation. They're off balance, trying to weigh the pros and cons. They're internally conflicted. Hell, they've been forced into hermit mode to do some soul searching here. We've got the star, which means there has been a tower for your person. Something abruptly changed for them. We've got death out here. We've got the ten of swords out here. We've got them stuck, unable to make a decision. They're confused. Clearly, this has been a difficult situation. There have been rough, choppy waters. This is about moving forward past all of that stuff. Leaving all that behind you in the past. Moving forward into calm waters. Waters that are more clear. Where there's more clarity. Where there's the sort of clarity over all of this confusion here. You're moving forward into more clarity where you're moving forward toward what it is that you actually want. And it looks like what you actually want is this Ten of Pentacles with this person. This new level of commitment with this person. And it looks like what they actually want is this Ten of Cups with you. So, it looks like you guys have some sort of a problem that you're trying to work out. Something is not 100% right in your relationship right now. Maybe there's been lack of communication. Maybe you guys have both been somewhat walled off and defensive. Both of you have apparently been confused about what to do, but it looks like that confusion is being lifted away and you guys are moving forward into calmer waters. Now, if you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Pisces love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.